G'day everyone. Takers and Retrievers is the easiest Gate of Infinity boss we've had so far, but there are a few things to be aware of in the intermission phase, which I'll go over for those of you who might be struggling a little bit. When you're fighting the boss normally, there's really only two attacks that he does. His standard Fury attack indicated by the little purple icon here, which you use your defensive ability against to block. The attack is a ranged projectile that he'll shoot at you, so you do have to deal with this even if you're a ranged player. If the projectile hits you, it'll stun you. This is not particularly lethal, it won't kill you, it'll just slow you down. The only other attack is this one here where he teleports behind you and drops a red area of effect at your feet. Honestly, this didn't seem to do much. I looked at it and I was testing different things. It kind of just does a really small amount of damage over time. And honestly, you can ignore it. Like if you're a tank or a melee player, you've probably got enough health and healing that you're fine. And if you're a ranged player, you can just walk out of it. So it kind of does nothing. I just ignored it and it was fine. Now, really the only interesting part of this fight is the intermission phase where he stuns you and then the area goes all dark. And there's these little clones, like shadow clones all over the arena. The objective in this phase is to get from where you start to the other side where's the little light orb and you click that to get back out of the phase. There's really only two things to know about here. The first is that if you go too close to the clones, they'll boop you back to the start and you have to start again. The detection radius on these guys is really quite small. You can really weave in through pretty fine gaps, but just be aware they will kind of pace back and forwards. So don't get caught out when one turns into you as you're sneaking through. Movement skills seem to be able to go straight through these clones without the detection going off. So for example, I use Strategic Rush and the Precision Dash from the Greatsword to just dash straight through these things and it was just super easy. The second thing going on in this phase is that there's two little golden orbs floating around the place. If you pick those up, you'll get a 20 second crit chance buff. Uh, it's about 150 crit chance per stack, I think. I tested it and I had 300 difference between before and after. So yeah, 300 crit chance. Probably not worth it to go after them versus the time you're wasting. So honestly, grab one of it's convenient. Otherwise, just go through. And the last thing to know is that if you are in the intermission phase for too long, he will eventually do a big explosion and just insta-wipe you. Um, it's very generous the amount of time you've got, though. You shouldn't have this issue unless you're getting knocked back three or four times in a row. And that's really all that's going on. As I said, it's a fairly easy fight, certainly less punishing than the last few Gate of Infinity bosses. It's pretty hard to die in this unless you took way too long in the intermission. So just make sure you hit your Fury attacks, stand in the puddle, get through the intermission. That's kind of all that's going on. You will be in this kind of Paladin Knight looking transformation the whole fight, which juices out your attack speed. So you'll probably burn through your mana a bit quicker because you've got more attack speed, your skills are faster, and so you've probably got less downtime. So maybe just consider using the mana potion that goes for 10 minutes, as well as the mushroom stir fry food buff for mana and mana regen. And that's it. Still a relatively slow kill for me because I'm a free to play tank. So I've got like all defensive gear and some blues and no traits basically. So still pretty slow, but yeah, pretty easy. And you can see the mechanics. There's always people in the comments who ask me what gear I'm using. So I'll leave this running through to the end and you'll be able to see at the end, I go through it all. But otherwise that's it. Thanks for listening, everyone. If it helped, please like and subscribe. Cheers.